We have uh, Carson, pronouns are he, him in Kansas, um, a pagan who doesn't believe in gods, but believes in nature. So, but, but I was also an adherent of Thor. So I'm, I'm a little confused, but welcome Carson. If you could kind of summarize what it is you believe and, and then maybe get to the why, cause the why is going to be the most important part. Right. Right. So, um, Hi guys, happy Halloween, um, but I'll just go ahead and jump right in. My name is Carson. I'm actually from Oklahoma. I just have a Southwest Kansas phone number, so that's why it says I'm in Kansas, but no big deal. Um, oh. I've been an adherent of Norse heathenism for, on 33 now, so I've been I've been practicing for, I guess, about eight, 18 or 19 years now, um, what kind of just started as a, uh, a passion project for ancestry and everything showed that my, my ancestors were from Northern Scotland and Scandinavia and that general area. So of course I started reading, you know, the, the, uh, the very Christianized lore behind, um, heathenism. And then just looking at like some historical, um, uh, manuscripts and just, of course, like, most most of the Vikings and everything come from that era. They didn't write anything down. They just only left behind runestones. So it's always been a left up to interpretation. Um, so whenever I say I'm an inherit of Thor, what I actually mean is I, what I believe, I guess, makes, uh, I believe in the personifications of deities rather than actual deities themselves. So I, I rather, I worship nature and it's, uh, overwhelming force over humanity, uh, more so than sky beings, if you will. So, uh, atheism with extra steps, I guess, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I, I not, doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, what do you mean the personification right, right. of something? I mean, it sounds well, like kind of what's involved, I guess, voice. before we get to the why, what Jim's asking and what I was curious about is what's involved in this practicing, worshiping nature and person, what does personification of a deity mean? So whenever I say personification, um, I guess I'll just use the literary term, um, giving human traits to something that we don't really understand. Why? We do. Un we have a pretty good understanding of nature. Right, right. And I guess I guess we do uh, definitely understand those things. But um, uh, let me think about it for a second. Does it mean we, we do a pretty good job of forecasting the weather? Um, right, we, do, right. yeah, we understand what forms lightning, we understand what causes weather. Um, I mean, what are the forces of nature? We know how trees grow. There's lots of stuff we know when you say nature, so. Sure. Now, to yeah. me, when you say and, you're personifying uh, a deity, I mean, it means you're, you're right. Are you giving nature like trying to make it human? Qualities? I guess, if that... but, but if it's not right, human, yeah. why would you try to make it human? That's that's a, a really good really good question, um, and uh, I think to make it easier for uh, maybe uh, maybe easier for people to uh, sorry I'm trying yeah, to see, trying to find yeah. out and figure out how to articulate it. This is this is something that I've had over and over again when I when I talk to pagans and I've been I've had a call out lately uh, even on my Wednesday show for for more pagans to call in um, because mm -hmm. I, I really would like to understand it and and in your case you're saying oh, it's like atheism with some extra steps except that um, it's not like atheism in the sense that you're trying to personify and deify nature and my thing is first of all do you care what's true. And what is it about your, why do you believe what you believe? Why, why do you think that there's some reason to, I mean, if it's not a person, if it's just nature and all the evidence points to nature doesn't give a flying fuck about any of us, it's just going to do what it does. That's its nature. Nate's nature's nature. What point is there to worshiping? Right. And it could actually be okay. dangerous so to, 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 it could be dangerous to assume human traits and say a tornado. You're not going to negotiate with the, the tornado. You can't can you can't bribe the tornado. You can't convince the tornado to go a different direction. It's going to go wherever the laws of physics tell it to go, and the same with any storm. So it actually seems dangerous to do that 
to, to treat nature as something human when it's just the laws of physics doing what they do. Uh, you could wind up in a world of hurt trying to negotiate with a thunderstorm or a hurricane or, you know, I mean, well, I don't know. It. Maybe Carson doesn't try to negotiate with a thunderstorm. So, so what is it to give, give us a clue as to why any of this matters and why you, you are involved. So I guess, so that, that question there, um, I, I think that that's kind of like the base of most heathens is that they don't, I don't know many heathens that believe that any of what we do matters at all anyway. Um, basically, if even the ones that believe that Thor is an actual, like, flesh and blood deity, I don't think any of those people actually believe that Odin or Thor or Tyr or any of these people actually care about us at all. And most most of what we really do is just kind of worry about us and our, uh, quote, quotation marks, tribe. Um, for me, particularly, I'm a universalist, so I believe anybody can be a heathen. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with skin color or anything like that. Um, I, we just mostly believe that the gods or the nothing really cares about us, and we've just got to pave our own way in the ways that best suit our uh, our, our tribe, if that makes sense. So, so I, I guess we're back to the why. If, if you don't think any of this matters, and I'm going to ask a question that many pagans I know would find very insulting, but I, I, I promise you this is not an attempt to assault you. How is this different from cosplay? Sure. <laughs> uh, that's, I mean, that's actually a really good question. Um, and I don't know that I really have an answer for that. <laughs> But I, okay. I, I like the question. I think it's funny. Because because when I, when I have I so we're we're probably going to move on real quick here, Carson. And this because I don't need to put you on the spot. But we're looking for people who can tell us what they believe and why. And your why seems sure. to be kind of a well, there's not really a good reason. It's just what I do, and I don't think it matters. And considering I I still live in a world where there are millions of people who are trying to legislate what other people can do based on their version of a God. Um, I, I'd love to know more about why people are pagans and what they think is happening. But if, if, if you're not, if you don't have any more today and I know somebody asked you to call then just, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Then probably we'll just move on to another caller. And if you think of something better, by all means, call us back. And, you know, if you've got some explanation for why, why you believe what you believe, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then just, just really quick, uh, uh, let's see, I, I guess the real why is just, uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll, we can just move on. I'm not really sure that, that I can really articulate that in, in this, uh, short of a time. So, yeah, maybe though. Maybe though your call will spark some other pagans or heathens who have a different take on it, or maybe different explanations of why or why it's important. Uh, maybe they'll call in and say, "Ah, that Carson guy, he was full of it." And who knows? And then maybe you'll come up with better answers that way. I yeah, don't know. definitely. All yeah. right, thanks, Carson. Yeah, no, have a good evening. You too. Yeah, I um, I, I had a back and forth with a pagan on the Sunday show after AXP last week. And a little bit on on my Wednesday show, um, hmm. it's been a, it's been a point of interest because I've had friends who were pagans. I've had friends who are atheists who are now pagans, um, and yet nobody can really explain what the hell they mean or why they believe it or why it's important. Or and so somebody got Carson to call in, and it's like I don't want to beat up on on anybody unnecessarily, especially right. if their view of it is well, it's atheism with some extra steps. Okay. <laughs> Everything yeah, is atheism with some extra steps. <laughs> right. <laughs> Christianity is just atheism with one more God. Right. <laughs> one more God than zero. <laughs> uh, yeah. 